Connor, is it a good news, bad news thing having a buy and having this much time off before you really get going? Yeah, I mean, I there's for sure some pros and cons, but uh, I think the way that our team's looking at it is it's a good thing for us, uh, you know, get our, rest up our legs a little bit and, and kind of refresh our minds before we, we head into the playoffs. So uh, I think our team's got a pretty good mentality right now, and uh, we're dealing with the cards we've been dealt, and, and I think we're doing a really good job. With Washington not making the playoffs, this might be one of the better rosters in the whole American Hockey League right now. Are you guys looking at it that way? Yeah, I think we're a really confident team right now. Uh, obviously we had a really good regular season and uh, it's something that we're looking to uh, bring another championship back to Hershey. And I think uh, we got a really good group of guys and, and staff that can help us lead us, lead the way. Nelly just talked about that players can define themselves in the playoffs and kind of what you do in the regular season. This is what the national or the, um, the NHL is looking at is how you do in the AHL playoffs. How do you take that challenge on and and really run with it? How do you dial in a different gear? Yeah, I think it's something that I excel in. Honestly, uh, when the when the games get bigger, I feel like I I perform better, and um, I'm really excited for the playoffs. I haven't really had uh a, too many playoff games in the past four or five years or so, so uh, it's really exciting times, especially when you have a group like this. It uh it doesn't come around too often, so uh just looking to prove myself. I think when you talk to like guys like Brian Helmer, things like that, he says AHL playoffs are a lot like an NHL game. How much do you? take your experience with the caps kind of bring that into what you're trying to do here with Hershey. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm a guy that's had some NHL experience and uh, a guy that some guys can lean on uh, when in big games. Uh, But yeah, I think um, just the play style in the playoffs is a lot faster. Uh, It's a lot more physical. So uh, I think we're going to be ready for the task. He talks a little bit about the first playoff series is the toughest one to get through. So, So what is your approach to starting the playoffs in your first round? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge we're facing right now is having these two weeks off. I think uh, just getting out, uh, starting out strong and uh, getting our legs back underneath us quickly is going to be key. And uh, yeah, I I tend to agree with Nelly there. And uh, the first round is going to be challenging and um, hopefully we can we can get off to a hot start. Kind of sort of answered my question. How do you deal with that? That layoff right there mentally and physically? Yeah, I think. Uh, there's a lot of things that the guys have been doing together off the ice, trying to uh, build that ke- team chemistry and, and stick together throughout this uh, two week break. But, uh, you know, I think it's just sticking the details in practice, uh, making sure you're, you're, you're dialed in, in practice. And that's going to that's going to translate to the games. Uh, when you take a step back and you look at the the team as a whole, maybe it's when you're in the corner on the ice or something like that. Is there anything that strikes you that says, hey, we are ready, you know, for what this time of year means? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that we have a lot of guys that want to win. Um, I think that's the biggest ingredient to any team. We we get together um, really well, and I think we just have guys that are hungry and ready to prove themselves, and we want to we want to win that championship. Depth was a big story. Uh, you guys displayed great depth coming down the stretch here. There's going to be guys that on a lot of other rosters would be skating in the playoffs that are going to be healthy scratches and and things like that. How does a player deal with that mentally that they might be a healthy scratch just based on a matchup and then they have to be ready to go the next the next game? Yeah, for sure. I think that's going to be a huge advantage for us. You know, uh, in the playoffs, uh, it's known to have injuries or uh, whatever it may be. And we have those guys that can step into the lineup and and fill in for those roles. And uh, just just like you asked there to touch on that, um, I just think they're going to realize pretty quickly that we need them here. And uh, just because you're not in the first game doesn't mean you're not going to be in game two. And uh, you got to stay ready because it, it takes a full team to win. Anybody else here have questions for Connor? Uh, Zoom, anybody on Zoom? Any questions, Patrick? Anybody? Yeah, just one for me, Connor. Uh, you know, what exactly are you expecting from the Car Cup playoffs? You know, you've been in the Stanley Cup playoffs, but, you know, this is kind of a different beast in its own way. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty similar, honestly. Uh, I think when, when the games become this important, uh, everyone re- elevates their game and everyone competes that much harder. So I think it's going to be tough uh, no matter who we face or, or when we play them. So uh, I'm excited and it's going to be a lot of fun.